This is a completely unregulated space. This is a wild west. We have to work together in order to really combat cybercrime and fraud. There are no strategic arms limitations treaties in cyberspace. The Intelligence Network is an industry initiative to understand, explain and tackle the enduring challenges of cybersecurity. It is an initiative that was founded by BAE and it's now open to industry, academia, government. We can't have everyone working on the same problems individually. Uh, it would be much better to pool our efforts and try and solve them together. We're experiencing threats on a daily basis from hostile states, from bad actors uh, in the digital environment, from the dark web, from other uh, malicious uh, uh, players. Like a virus, it can spread very quickly and we need to know how to contain it. But to solve those problems, rather than to just manage them, it needed a more collaborative approach. And having the intelligence network as the platform, we can bring all the right minds together. 10, 20 years ago, the problem criminals had was turning cash that they made from drug deals into electronic money. Now the problem they've got is turning electronic money they've made from cyber fraud into cash. Every year the United States spends to deal with cyber the equivalent of the GDP of North Korea. I think the main threat, though, for businesses is not thinking enough about what cyber security means to their business. If you're going to create a new product or a new offering or new things like that, as well as thinking about the opportunity that digital brings that, think about the threat. I do fear there is a danger that we'll get into a situation where there are the haves and the have-nots. So, you know, the big corporations can afford threat intelligence, can afford to defend themselves, and actually small, medium businesses can't. Working together um, for the greater good uh, is something that uh, is an imperative. It's something that we've got to do. Mostly what we're looking for is people's backing and people's perspectives on life. We're not looking for a load of effort. We just want them to participate and to give us their thoughts. Why attack a government facility when you can cause weeks and weeks of headlines um, if you do damage to a particular corporation. If we do this the right way, we can make the UK and our allies the safest places in the world to act online. This is a challenge, but there are solutions. This is a hard problem, but we can solve it. As defenders in cyberspace, we are not defending our organisation, we're defending society. Half of stock exchanges in the world have been subjected to major cyber attacks because the perception is that global economic chaos will serve the interests of the states who might be behind it.